Think you need months to land video editing clients? Wrong. I'm gonna show you the exact roadmap my students in VP Plus follow when they need to land work fast, usually this week. We're gonna break it down. Without further ado, let's get cracking. So the concept is casting many nets into many oceans. I'll break it down in a very simple term. Imagine you're a fisherman and every day you go into the same ocean and you cast the same net. You're only gonna catch maybe some fish in that ocean. Maybe one day it's a bad day. The fish were swimming in a different direction. You didn't catch any. We're gonna talk about today how to cast three to five nets into three to five different oceans and if common sense would tell you okay you're now set up to land even more clients you've got five different nets in five different oceans and all of a sudden you're getting more clients cool so let's break down first some of the most popular oceans to fish in the freelance game let's talk about freelance websites right freelance websites are big oceans but there's a lot of fishermen in them right you go to the ocean you're throwing your net there's about six other fishermen over here they're all competing for the same school of fish it can be tough youtube is another huge ocean with a bunch of different type of fish you You've got the finance niche over there. That's a type of fish. You've got the vlogger niche over there. That's a type of fish, right? Loads of different types of fish, different species, if you will. That could be a good ocean to fish. I've fished that ocean. Next up, we're talking about social media. Even outside of YouTube, again, we're just going through oceans real quick. We'll break down how to get clients there next. But social media is another huge ocean. People are in different mindsets on different socials, aka the fish are swimming in a different way. You got to use a different tactic to catch them, depending on which social media you're using, aka which ocean you're fishing. Instagram, for example, isn't great for out. Outreach. It's not a great place to go to clients, but it's a great place to position yourself as an expert through content and attract clients to you. So there's a different tactic. Twitter is amazing for outreach because you actually have a bunch of people who are in the business mindset. Instagram, they're chilling in the spa. They're more casual, right? Twitter, it's more of a business mindset. People are more on the same page. They're more ready to purchase. They're at least in the mindset of business. They're usually building a personal brand of their own. If you can get your content to pop up on their feed, cool. You've set yourself up to catch those fish. Okay. So what type of net are you going to use? We've talked about the oceans. You know a couple different locations, aka oceans. What net are you going to use? There's a different specialist kind of net to catch different fish. One of the nets is called Outbound. Bit of a funny name for a net, but that's what it's called. It's called Outbound. That is going to clients, usually cold. It's cold approach. You are finding a bunch of leads and you're going to them. My favorite type of net's Inbound. Creating content that positions you as an expert and attracting clients to you. So you might have a little bit of bait on that net, right? Aka you throw a net into the water. It's got some bait. It attracts the fish they come to you. Fantastic. I'm really trying to keep up this metaphor here as best I can. Maybe I'll throw it away. So choosing what type of net you want is obviously something you're going to be aware of. Outbound and inbound are pretty basic, but also a net is network, right? Net work. Bit of a pun right there. Anyways, let me, let me, let me crack on before you unsubscribe. Some of the easiest new money you can make is by going back to your old clients. So your network, once you've built up a track record, you can go back to old clients. You could potentially get work. If you do need to generate work fast and you have a track record, you have other clients you worked with, it could be easier to come back to some of those. Or if you've done your job right, ideally, some of them are already coming back to you because you've rendered a good service. If you need to land work fast and you have a track record, network might be the easiest way to tap into it. If you need to land work fast, you don't have a network, you're going to be using outbound or inbound. Let's talk about what it looks like to use those, right? So I usually propose that you set up a outreach schedule. Now I call it outreach, right? It's also involving inbound, aka a client acquisition schedule. And if you do need to generate work this week, then you'd want to put together a schedule and that's going to spread you a little bit thin, but it's going to tackle each individual platform, each individual ocean. And you're going to spend a bit of time casting nets into each of them every single day. Over time, you will convert clients. So what does that look like? Creating a marketing strategy, a fishing plan, whatever you want to call it. I'll drop the I'll drop the metaphor now. It's uh, it's useless. It served its purpose. So to create a marketing strategy, let's go ahead and walk through what I do for my students in VP Plus, for example. We would have them do a couple different practices each day that cast a net into one of the different oceans. So 30 minutes a day, they might spend on freelance websites. They might say, hey, listen, I know freelance websites are a huge ocean with a lot of fishermen, but I do know there are some good catches to be made. Okay, I'm going to go spend about 30 minutes a day combing through some freelance opportunities. Some days there might be something. I'll do a proposal. Some days they won't. You're vetting and scanning for the best opportunities, the big cash, if you will. Before we continue with the video, you might be watching this and thinking, Jack, great tips, bro, but outreach into clients is a giant waste of time. Maybe you've sent hundreds of messages and never even had a single response. Maybe you actually did get one response from the hundreds of messages, and maybe they told you, stop spamming me, get the hell out of my inbox. Because of that, you now think you have to send hundreds, even thousands of boring messages to random strangers to even set yourself up for a chance of landing clients. Now, listen, I also thought, 
I would have to send hundreds of messages to random strangers in order to get clients until I learned about inbound leads. The internet is filled with tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of potential clients that are looking for video editing services on a daily basis. All I have to do is make content that positions me as an expert and attract those clients to me instead of doing the dirty work and going to them. Inside Video Production Plus, my private members community, I teach you how to implement those exact strategies. This helped 16-year-old Mia go from no money, no followers, nothing to over a thousand followers on Twitter in just her first month and generated dozens of inbound leads into her DM. This is also the exact same strategy 22-year-old Sasha used to go from minus 700 euros in his overdraft to earning over 1,500 euros every single week by never outreaching once and building an audience of over a thousand followers on social media. Down below, you can find a link to VP+. I would love to see you in our community and help you implement these same strategies into your business. You're going to do one hour a day of outreaching to clients. Outreaching is going to them, right? You're going to be sending either cold emails. Ideally, you're, you're warming them up a little bit. You're adding some personalization, maybe some value first. If you're in your early days, you're taking some of their content, you're making it better. You're presenting it to them. Awesome. That's another way of approaching them in a nicer, friendlier way. They feel like it's less cold and it's warmer. Now you're their friend. You're providing value to them. For me, I do personalized loom videos, right? So I'll send a personalized video to the YouTuber, for example, I'll be screen recording on their YouTube channel. Hey, what's up? I'm Jack. I, I See your channel is really well branded. I think you could benefit from a product we're building. I'd love to break it down to you real quick. Little one minute pitch video. Okay, cool. I do fire off the same script to all the people, but it's got their name in it. I am screen recording on their YouTube channel. It feels more personal. So the third point of the marketing strategy is going to be two hours a day of creating content on social media, mass engagement, mass outreach. This is to market to people through the internet. You're creating content that positions you as an expert to attract clients to you. Now, these are loose estimates of where you should be spending your time. Honestly, I say it's completely down to you you which place you want to spend more time in. Some of you guys have a lot of success on freelance websites. You spend most of your time there. You swap them out. You change them as you want. It's completely up to you. But these are three tried and true areas where you can cast nets in the hope of attracting fish and catching fish, right? We've got outbound, we've got inbound. And of course we have freelance websites. These are all oceans that we know fish are at, right? For me, what this looks like is three sessions a week of highly personalized loom videos. And for VP plus right now, we're expanding. We're building an in-house agency, a productized service that's going to land clients and outsource that work to the freelancers below in VP plus I'm doing outreach for that. We're looking to onboard clients. I do three sessions a week, 20, 30 outreaches a time. We automate it with my virtual assistant. He's sending those off. And overall, that's us ticking the box of casting nets to catch fish. Overall, those are three core areas you can spend time into. We've talked about the different oceans you could be going to. We've talked about the different types of nets you can be casting. This is a framework you can use to land clients this week. Each of you will have a different implementation of this. Some of you will prefer outbound. Some will prefer inbound. I'll leave that completely up to you. That's the end of the video. If you want to join VP Plus, my private members community, I highly suggest you do. If you like what you heard here, you're going to love what you see in VP Plus. Also, I'm going to give two discount codes at the end of the video, 20% off for your first month. You can join us if you use the code this week, all one word, you'll get 20% off your first month. Welcome to VP Plus. There's only two codes that do that. So use them quickly. If you're watching this, you're one of the first people to watch this. You should use the code. That's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to direct you to this bad boy right here. Click the video. It's going to be the perfect continuation to this video. Three, two, one. I'll see you there.